Greetings, greetings, and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It is so good to be here with you. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Why? Because in two days, it's going to be Thanksgiving. And what is Thanksgiving truly? It is being grateful. It is being thankful. It is knowing that we are blessed blessed for being here blessed for being with you and taking a cord of how you feel and uh, what is it that you surround yourself in life with so my name is Lisa I come live every Tuesday and uh, bring you words of inspiration affirmation and sometimes even giving uh, transformational talks or perhaps as a clinical hypnotherapist and stress management consultant, take you from a level of stress to a place of calm, taking you from pain to gain. And what exactly does that mean? That means when you feel powerless, when you feel insecure, when you feel anxious or have negative thoughts, to feeling grateful, to feeling absolutely this sense of independence and awareness and feeling nurturing. So I just got off an incredible a zoom talk that I was presenting and I must say it felt so good so good to be amongst people who have a sense of knowing what gratefulness is and we forget so many of us forget you know I just came from a trip and I was so grateful to be with family um, and a family member who just got married and you know it they said three is a charm because the first time the uh, the uh, groom to be had to be deployed the second time it was COVID and the third time was the charm but more importantly it's the sense of connection and unity that it was such a joyful place to be and you put everything aside the fear of flight the fear of what can happen the fear of COVID and everything you know why because of what is most important becomes the dominant thought pattern and that's exactly what I want to talk about what is the most dominant thought pattern in your life what is the dominant thing that what is it that you want to move forward to to feel happier to feel fulfilled in life to have a better relationship to have to change a habit a to change a behavior because as an expert in helping raise your self-esteem not the confidence remember I work with the self-esteem when you believe you can you will remember that when you believe you can thus you will what is it that they say believe it imagine it and you can achieve it believe it because we believe in God we cannot see God we believe in what we want and when there is a sense of belief when you belong to what you want and you step you imagine it you create it you step into it then you become it Mm. not necessarily fake it until you make it but when you believe what you imagine when you believe what you can establish and can do it automatically universe brings it that's where transformation happens because it is that emotional connection to the behavior the emotional connection to the habit the emotional connection to what you want to feel and be that makes the difference that's the emote the motion of the feeling when we put a feeling into motion emotion so today I want to take us from feeling distress feeling 
hopeless if there is things that are happening around the world the, the chaos the trauma everything it's not that it's not real it is not that I am here to negate it it is not that what happened to you is not true but for you to realize that if you are here right here right now today you have a choice today you have a choice to make a new story a new beginning you have the power to make that feeling that emotion change for you maybe you cannot change the story actually the story of the past can never be changed what happened has happened and no one is here to negate that part what you feel I'm not here to negate your feeling either but what it is that you want to feel that's the important thing what is it that you want to create in your life what is that feeling inside that you rather have instead of looking at the journals and saying eh, that I can never have what if you could what if that is a life that you can't step into what if the disease that you have can be more at ease and I can guide you for you to realize that you are the blessing truly are what you feel is very valid and what you want in your life what you desire what you dream of that dreams can become a reality that yes you can be a non-smoker that yes you can be healthier you do have a voice yes if there is a behavior or a pattern we can break through those patterns. as a matter of fact I am offering a course and if you are willing and ready to have a change in your life by all means all you have to do is say I am ready just let me know all you have to do is just type I am ready because in this course I'm going to take you from this helplessness and feeling as if you are stuck you are boxed in that you can't see outside of where you are either in habits or behaviors that we are going to unleash the best version of you for 2022 yes you will and in this course it's only a three hour course that yes you can overcome all the negative habits and behaviors in three hours you will find the hope because that's what I'm bringing and I promise you this so if you want this course is going to be available for you on December 12th just two weeks from now after Thanksgiving and you're gonna give thanks for to you for making that decision and saying yes it's a three-hour workshop that's it three-hour workshop on December 12th and you go from feeling stuck and in emotional pain feeling powerless insecure in whatever it is and if it's not you if you know of anyone I want to hold space and say I will do everything for you to feel that you know why because you are deserving you are worthy I have gone through that same thing myself it was not too long ago that I felt the same I don't deserve it why is this happening to me over and over why can't I get out of this situation actually I felt as if no one can see me no matter what I say no I'm not being heard it's true 
As a matter of fact, it was so bad that I used to have a habit that it was a very destructive habit that I used to do. Until the time I came to this place. And it's not just like this. But the moment I had the understanding that I can, wow, that what I believe and I desire, it is possible, that all this time, every time I manifested or wanted to manifest or dreamt for something that I did manifest, all this, and as I rewind it and I looked back and I'm going, by golly, I never realized that I had a say in this. I never realized I can too. So it's not only my clients, <laughs> but I can too do. I can do this as well. Just like you. Just like you. So if you know of someone who feels what is there to be grateful about? You know, you saw it on my Facebook. If you didn't, uh, the travel that I did, someone was sitting next to me holding to the sides of the seat and the person next to him just, just, it's okay, you can do the flight, it's okay, it's okay, you know, don't worry about it and I said excuse me what is it are they afraid of flying oh yeah we've already given them all the medicines and everything they're gonna fall fall asleep and I'm like it's an hour and a half flight do you mind if I speak to you for just a moment this is who I am and what I can help them with just by my tonality that I can help this is what I do. I help people with a panic and anxiety feel calm and more in control. It's like, sure, do you want to sit here? So that's what we did. And then I sat next to them and I said, do you mind if I put my palm and you can put your hand in mine? So automatically taking the hand from holding and going like this to putting it in my hand. And I said, just place it on my hand, not squeezing it, just place it right there. I said, can you feel the vibration, the warmth of my hand? Swallow your saliva. Do you feel that you are safe with me? Do you feel safe in the seat? Did you know that you are safe right here in this space? So exactly as you realize that even you feel safe when you swallow your saliva, you're digesting oxygen and vitality. That as you are sitting right here, if you could just listening to me, just for one second, find one thing you are grateful for and say thank you to that moment, to that one thing. Just being thankful to the awareness of what you feel. That you can listen, that you can see, that you can feel, that you can swallow. Every aspect of you that you can even taste or smell every sense of you being grateful and realize that if you are safe in your body that you promise not to harm yourself is the first and the beginning of you saying I am worthy I am kind to me and kindness starts with me. And when you take that nice deep breath and realizing that every single day, every time you breathe, you bring that oxygen and vitality inside, you validate who you are. 
And that in itself is such a bliss that you forgot all about your worthiness to live and being on this earth. And you know, as this incredible person held my hand and I had looked in their eyes, they started tearing. It's completely forgot about the, uh, the fear of flying and became one with my voice just as you are, realizing that I have absolutely no power over you except to guide you to where you have the power within you so that you can believe in your own gifts so that you can be grateful to who you are and be thankful to every aspect that you didn't realize you have the tools and the techniques within you that's right you are the gift and this person holding my hand automatically closed their eyes and calmed down and I took them into a deeper state of calmness and within five minutes maybe six minutes I don't even remember they were so calm that by the time we'd landed this person hugs me says thank you the pills did not affect me as much as me placing my hand in yours so I want you to know that even in this workshop as I do the workshop and take you from that level for you to know that you can unleash let go and feel more empowered all I do is be a bridge and hold space for you so today as everyone in America and not everyone for those who celebrate with their loved ones or if you are celebrating by yourself if you are doing a traditional or a non-traditional it doesn't matter if only you take few moments to be grateful to yourself to be grateful to your surroundings that at that very moment you place yourself in either outside or indoors no matter where you are that no matter what has happened in the past is not happening at this very moment and yet you are thankful that today you are present with you and hopefully you have a choice who you want to be with sometimes we make it worse than what it is I like to call it I sit and observe as I sit and look this entire thing can also become a stage and I can hover above and look and realize today I have a choice tomorrow I have a better choice and no matter what I am responsible and I can take ownership of my choices my habits my behaviors my success my goals my achievements and those can be your words and do same so take a journal open a book and start writing all the things that you are grateful that where you are today the things that you are not grateful for the things that happened and then you say thank God it's already happened and what is it that I want to achieve what do I want to create 
what kind of an abundance do I want to bring into my life and how do I want to step into my own abundance? If I had that, how would I enjoy it? If I create that and manifest it in my life, how do I feel? What would I feel? How would my life be different? And that, realize, the more you make it detail, every sense you put into it, the colors, the sense, the feeling, the touch, everything, you become it. Hello, my Linda. Hello, Seda John. It is so great, and I thank you for being here. So today, it was just a small little token of saying, as you close your eyes, you know, a self-hypnosis is the same as we put our hands and we go into a prayer. And no matter who you pray to, what you believe, what you pray up to, it is in a way expressing what you feel, sharing what you want, and asking for it to become a reality. And it can be your health, it can be someone else's health, someone else's safety, your safety, your success, achieving what you want, and realizing that in life, I am grateful for so much. And I hope you are too. For the family that you have, the family you choose to have, the friends that you gather with or choose to be by yourself. No matter where you are, may you be safe. And today, I say, may God's blessings be with you. May you, the universal light surround you. And from this day forward, if you wish no harm to come upon others, please make sure that you also do the same for you. That you gift yourself versus harming yourself in thoughts with negativity, not even worries. And you find ways to have a happier, joyful, playful, danceful, and healthier days to come. I wish you and your family, no matter where you are, a blessing and gratefulness. May your thanksgiving be a blessed one with aroma and joy because this is one of the best metaphors to remind ourselves I do have a choice and I do matter. Thank you for being here. God bless you. See you next week. And if you want that workshop, say yes. Hello, Rom. Good to be here. Always hug yourself. And remember, when you do this with a hug, you also have the angel wings be with you. Bye-bye. See you next week. This is Lisa. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.